Stella in a box. Hello everyone! Happy Wednesday! Can y'all hear us okay? Me and Molly are trying a new microphone setup. So yeah, we got dual microphones. So let us let us know in the comments if you can hear us all right. We're out here with Miss Bobcat Bella. She's got some tuna up there. She's smacking away on. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. I'm guessing y'all can all hear us okay. Me and Molly are trying a new okay, microphone yeah. setup. Daniel We're said all good. All, good. all right, okay, perfect, cool. perfect. We're getting a little nervous there. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, we're out here with Bobcat Bella today. She's got some tuna in there. She's got a nice little box down there for enrichment. Hello, everybody. I hope y'all are having a great day so far. I know yesterday was the uh, finale of our Food and Wellness Center fundraiser. Um, however, that's actually going on until tomorrow night, um, so still double the donation, so if you haven't gotten in donations yet, you can still do that. And we want to thank everybody who's donated so far. Y'all are awesome. That was a really exciting day yesterday. We got to see a lot of different aspects of feeding our residents from food prep to different like forage feeding and we saw some more enrichment some icicles in honor of our request for a new ice machine um and now we are doing some forage feeding with miss bobcat bella jamie would you like to talk a bit about bella's story yeah, so let's see, Miss Bella. She's kind of hiding over She's there. hiding. Let's see if I can get a better side of the skywalk to see her. Miss Bella, there you are. There she is. All right, hopefully y'all can see her. Yeah, so Miss Bella, if you look at her closely, you can't see her now because her butt's facing us. <laughs> uh, but her ears are a little different than other bobcats. Uh, she's got a little. De I don't want to say deformed, but a little <laughs> different ears. A little different. Um, she actually had severe ear infections, so that caused her ears to be slightly different. Um, I believe she was she was a pet, correct? She was a, she pet, was a pet from pet. Arizona. Yes, yeah, she was dropped off at an Arizona rescue, um, and now she's here at TWS, and she's loving life. I believe she's 16 years old. I checked on her age chart this morning. But yeah, she's loving her life here. Yeah, so she's just one of those classic stories of people buying these animals as exotic pets without really knowing the true nature of having them as pets or just kind of the consequences because um, she came, the people who bought her as a pet bought her from a breeder in Arizona, uh, not knowing that it was illegal to own a bobcat in that state. So then they ended up surrendering her to that rehabilitation center where we got her from just because people just really don't know what they're getting into when they decide to buy these pets and that's sadly the story with a lot of our uh, rescues that we have here is they were just pets gone wrong because they are wild animals and they're not going to act the same exact way as your domestic cats at home do and people just aren't made aware of that see i'm going through the comments real quick do, do. thank you for those stars sherry i see faith is waiting on dimitri results um uh, we're not positive on the results yet but it seems like he's doing good um he's yeah, we heard lots of good reports this yes. morning from our new vet uh dr campbell when their initial analysis of the mass and of course we're still waiting on the pathology report but of course you guys will be the first to know right after us as always 
So thank you for all of your love and support um, for these cats and sickness and in health. It's really great to see how you all band together to really be there for us and the cats. There she oh, goes. There she's she's down. I was like, I think she realized that there's no more tuna up there. <laughs> but yeah, speaking of uh, y'all's support, um, we are still in need of food shoots. Um, $300 each. We're trying to uh, raise that money uh, for our larger residents. So they can have a more natural uh, way to eat. Yeah, so those of you who subscribe to our newsletter, which hopefully Judson, who's supposed to be at the desk, can put that link in the comments if you're not. Um, you can see that our food shoot frenzy was yesterday, and we are looking to raise enough money for 10 food shoots right now for some of our bigger residents, like Winona and Kimba and Sophie and all the fan favorites, even Shadow, the Black Leopard. So yeah, just putting in um, your donations on any of our posts right now or the post that's pinned at the top of our Facebook page will go towards these food shoots. And as Jamie said, they're $300 each. So even if just 10 people donated $30, we'd have enough for a food shoot for at least one of our cats. So we're really trying to push to get those donations in and be able to buy these food shoots for our cats. Because as Jamie said, it's really good enrichment for them. Um, just similar to how Bobcat Bella's doing her foraging right now, which encourages her natural instincts. The same thing goes for our bigger cats, where we like to give them bigger pieces of meat in order to really get them in touch with their wild counterparts. I see Priscilla's asking, does she live in this enclosure? Yes, she does. Um, I know I'm zoomed in right now, so you can only see just a little bit, but she's actually got all these skywalks up here. That's really important for bobcats. Um, it really encourages their natural behavior to climb and get up high. Yeah, so all of our residents, as Jamie just said, have these large free roaming habitats that are pretty much kind of simulations of how they would be living in the wild but of course since they cannot be released from here they're living wild at heart and we give them all these different aspects in their habitats in order to be able to make them feel comfortable and at home as much as we can and there's the skywalks i know she's got her little cave that she really likes and there's actually two caves in here she's got her long grass and trees and she can really go up and down and all around as she pleases and kind of see where she wants to go. So I think she's heading back up there. I don't think she has yet discovered her little blue ball over here that has some tuna in it too. Hopefully she'll come back into her box as well. Thank you, Faith. You're always supporting me and Molly. We really appreciate it. We really it. appreciate you, Faith. Daniel says, so apparently dash plus ice equals happy tiger. Yes, that's so true. <laughs> I was out there uh, taking pictures while Judson did the live yesterday, and he was having a blast with the ice. Absolutely, and it was nice to see all of your, uh, you guys' screenshots in the group chat of all uh, Dash playing with his ice, and Tarek and Paulina um, eating their fruits with, um, I think, I don't remember what was in it, it might have been tuna in it or something, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'd love to see how much you guys engage with our page, and yeah, so if anyone wants to join our group page it's i love the wildcat sanctuary cats i know a lot of you are already in there we see lots of awesome screenshots and comparisons to your domestic cats with our wildcat residents and it's just a great community to be able to get to know the other people who love this place just as much as you do and we love to see what all of you guys have to say with your comments you doing, and Bella? photos and it's, it's a really great community She's exploring. See if she comes back around. There she is. Pretty lady. Boop, boop, scrolling through some comments. 
while you look through those comments, I was just gonna say a lot of you may notice that uh, Bella weird. is lives by herself, which I know some people are always like, why doesn't she have a friend? You know, like, doesn't she want to live with other bobcats? Um, and if any of you follow our TikTok page, oh, she has found the ball. She found the ball. That we have made a TikTok about all of our single ladies of TWS, and Bella is one of them, who sometimes companionship isn't the right option for them, and they sometimes can be a bit more solitary creatures, so she definitely enjoys having her own space to live her own life and on her own terms. Let's see. She's Sorry, guys, if my, my camera angle's a little wonky. Trying to get the fence out of the way. Oh yeah, she found something. something. Good in there, Bella. As Judson always says, it's always good to see a happy bobcat face buried in the ground, <laughs> munching on something. But yeah, thanks for being here, guys, and spending some time with us today. I hope y'all are having a great week so far. And don't forget, it is not too late to donate to our Food and Wellness Center fundraiser. Um, you have until tomorrow night at midnight to donate. And if you, if you, sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to interrupt you, Molly. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you donate a hundred dollars or more you get the key to paw print which is super cool Co super cool keepsake to have anyway continue molly <laughs> <laughs> I lost my kind of thought there a little bit, sorry about but, that <laughs> um yeah so your donations are gonna go to all different things and right now we're really pushing towards those food shoots which you've heard a couple people mention throughout the week during uh tammy's post yesterday and judson's posts and we really just want to raise that money to get those food shoots. And relating to those key two paw prints, a $300 food shoot, that could mean that three people could get a paw print off of just buying that one food shoot. So that's definitely some incentive, a good get and take relationship to give to these cats. And then you get a nice keepsake in return. So it's definitely something that's really important. And I know a lot of you were mentioning how you really enjoyed Dash playing with his ice. And I know probably a lot of you watched Teresa's post yesterday uh, with her request for a brand new ice machine for our cats to keep them nice and cool during the hot weather. And then we could put them in their water buckets to keep them topped off and nice and fresh and cool and even in their pools as well just so that they stay more hydrated than they sometimes would because, you know, Cats can be lazy sometimes, and I know I personally forget to drink water and don't really want to get up when I'm laying somewhere comfortable. So they kind of do the same thing. So we just want to encourage them to be getting as much hydration as possible when it gets hot. Kathy, you better be uh, watching how much water you drink, mowing in the 101 degree heat oh, index. Gosh, not 101. Keep care of yourself, Kathy. <laughs> and for anybody just joining us, we're doing some forage feeding with Miss Bobcat Bella today. And for those of you who have been joining us all this week, uh, do you guys have any favorite types of feeding that we do? Whether it be our forage feeding or tuna sickles, blood sickles, companion feeding, barrel feeding. I know you've seen so many different things and I know a lot of you have given us some really good comments saying how much you learned, but also how much fun it is to be seeing these things. And I know it's honestly the same exact thing for these cats. It's both fun and it keeps them, keeps those tummies full as well. So yeah, just let us know in the comments what your favorite type of feeding is. We also saw some tong feeding and in the future, hopefully we'll be able to show some food shoot feeding yes. with those new food shoots. Daniel says stick feeding is his favorite. Man, she really is munching away over there. It's gotta be some tasty tuna. Tong feeding, love some tong feeding. And it was really nice to see some examples of that yesterday um, with Rio in zone three feeding small cat track and all of our servals. And it just really, we gotta take the time to appreciate all of our amazing 
caretaking staff and animal care interns who are able to do all of these things in one day and feed all of our residents and give them all their meds, especially when some of them need attention three times a day for different meals and meds and supplements. And I feel like I definitely have a newfound appreciation for them <laughs> after this morning when Jamie and I had to uh, carry over some buckets of water for Miss Bella and Miss Anastasia to help out uh, caretaker Elise while she's cleaning Anastasia's inside bedroom. And I am definitely not the strongest of people, so that was a bit of a struggle. So definitely kudos to them <laughs> for all the hard work that they put in giving these cats their food and water and mowing their um, habitats, keeping everything clean and safe and nice. And it's really, really amazing work that they do. Judson says, watch for the fence in the frame. I'm trying. <laughs> Jamie, you're doing a great job. Thank you. What is she up to over there? I think she was watching Elise walk away. Do, 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 do. Coming back to check for more. Is there anything in there, Bella? I think you cleaned it good. Sorry guys, I'm still trying to scroll through the comments. Well, I think she found a little something else in that grass there. Or maybe she's just having some dessert, some grass. I know a lot of people are fans of that, a little extra salad with the with their meal. <laughs> See some hype for tongue and forage feeding. Oh yeah. How is Anastasia doing, Jill asks. Anastasia's doing good. Um, I think Elise is... Is she cleaning right now? She was cleaning, yeah. She's cleaning. I think so. But yeah, Anastasia's doing great. Yeah, I know she's been working with her a lot doing, I know you've heard us mention a couple times operant conditioning, which is how we teach all of our residents in, to go into their lockouts and their indoor bedrooms when it's feeding time or for any other reason. Um, and she does the same thing with her to like teach her other things and try to make her more comfortable with people. I know they've been working on trying to practice, I believe, like injections of things, like if they need some sort of vaccine or really anything or need to get like blood drawn. I know that um, we had an intern ed, we have different classes every week about uh, different topics. And that was one of them that was really fascinating. And it was really cool to see all the different things that you can essentially teach all of these animals. And they're really smart. And I think one of the really cool ones was uh, Shazam leopard uh black leopard shazam and he he's apparently very advanced mm -hmm. in the operant conditioning and he could do a lot of things like they teach him how to stretch out um against the fence so that they can check him and see make sure he's not like over grooming in any places and all sorts of things and teaching them to kind of like calmly receive their food and they they at least really does a lot of amazing work she does with um operant conditioning and it's really fascinating and I was definitely hoping that we could see see soon maybe a bit of her doing that because I think it's something that's really educational for us. And hello, Bella. Bella coming right up. She's coming to say hello. Maybe she's gonna check out that fresh water that we brought over. <laughs> Get a little sip. To you guys. Hello, Elise. Yeah, we were talking about Anastasia <laughs> and a bit about operant conditioning. So, if you want, here I can hand the mic. I'm a little closer so you yeah. can hear me. <laughs> if you want to talk a bit more about that, because I know that's something that people want to hear about. Yeah, so Anastasia's doing really, really well over there. Actually, we've kind of been integrating more people back into feeding with her. She's getting much more comfortable. Uh, you guys have kind of seen some pictures of her on Facebook, yeah. which is exciting because she's coming out more and uh, when Judd sits around and hopefully for you guys too, hopefully. <laughs> kind of working on it. Uh, actually been working with her with some target training and uh, some vaccines that she needs because she's getting her big girl vaccines Yay. like anybody's, <laughs> you know, at home when you guys do that. So she's getting those updates and it's working with her because she is a, a wild born, well, um, purchased as a pet and then kind of just really 
back and being reclusive like that, like some of our wildborns are, uh, working with her to come up and get those vaccines without having to sedate and being traumatic for her because that can break trust. And she's actually really allowing that and working really well with us. So she's doing awesome That's and coming great. up and eating great. And for Bella, one of the things that we've done too, I heard you guys kind of talking and stuff with these two is Bella's particular. And we've had her build a special part on the wall over there that we've done with them because Bella's a little bit of a stickler there, but Anastasia's a pretty good neighbor and she puts up <laughs> with <laughs> Bella's antics. She likes to try and antagonize yeah. sometimes. So we have a special triangular built section there. I know sometimes people ask, we've got a cougar next to a bobcat on a shared wall. So we are always doing different modifications for this kind of stuff. Uh, pardon me. Miss Bella here, she likes to kind of go over and kind of see if she can get her neighbors into trouble sometimes. So we have a kind of a little space there between the two of them. But Anastasia is pretty gracious. She kind of just comes over and sees. She's she's pretty chill. She kind of likes watching what Bella's doing every now and then. But yeah. Well, yeah. thank you so yes, much thank for you. sharing all of your amazing work. And I'm <laughs> trying to hype you up a lot. So yeah. <laughs> all the stuff that you do is really amazing. You've got a lot of support it. in the comments, yes, you too. Do. Thank you. you. I appreciate yeah. it. I appreciate thank it. you for sharing. That was really, really great. Definitely give a better synopsis than, than we could. So, <laughs> all right. Thank, thank you. you. No all right. Looks like Bella went into her cave over here. Walking around. What are you doing, Bella? She's peeking. She loves this little cave. Oh, oh she's oh, out of it. And I know she's a big fan of cardboard boxes, too. She was in it at the beginning. Let's see if she'll maybe get back in at some point. But she kind of marches to the beat of her own drum there. Definitely. And off into the next cave. Thank you guys for all the support for Elise. That's awesome. We love her and all the work that she does. Man, she is on the move. She's exploring. Well, Gotta I guess we can there. go see what the Cheetah Brothers are up to over here. Probably sleeping. They're awake. Yeah, so again, we just really want to nail down our thanks and appreciation for all of your help with the Food and Wellness Center fundraiser. I love how Jamie took a really difficult away. Yeah, I apologize for that. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're attached at the hip by our microphone. <laughs> I'm have to come the front here. I see them. They're awake. Yeah, but thanks for all of your support. I know Mr. Kitu, our poster child for this event, is really thankful for yes. all of your help. And He's I happy to give his you, paw prints. Yeah, a lot of you have gotten your paw prints, and of course, it's not too late to get them. It's definitely a very, very special keepsake. Lavani definitely thinks so. <laughs> and you got a really cute little photo card of the two of them too, which is and also a very nice keepsake. So definitely give it, keep giving those gifts. A gift of $100 or more will get you those special, special items to add to your TWS collection. I saw a lot of people in the comments saying that they have them with all of their different uh, paw prints and keychains they've collected over the years. Which is really great to see how much you guys really love these cats and your love and support is what allows them to live these wild at heart lives that they do and just be able to kick back and relax like these two every day. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't do what we do here without you guys. So thank you so much for y'all's support and your endless love and care for all these cats. I think that's, is that Lavani under the tree? No, Kitu's under Kitu. the tree. Lavani's right there. Yep, they're just soaking up the sun on this beautiful day. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, our Cheetah Boys are some of our geriatric residents. So they're just 
some old guys, they like hanging out, walking around, laying in the sun and on their hill and on under their manger and just really relaxing and enjoying their, their days here at TWS as they've yeah. found their forever home. I know we always get asked the question of if they run, if they run in their enclosure and these guys, they're retired. They're, yeah, they're, they're taking life easy now, so yeah. they have no need to run. Just scrolling through these comments. Sorry guys, get a little behind. They said, Cheetah Brothers, yay. We do love these guys. Sue said, you all do brilliant work here. Thank you, Sue. That means a lot. We really appreciate it. Someone asking how many cats, well, specifically fur babies, do we have at the sanctuary? And we have just about 120 residents, which you can read all of their individualized stories and just learn a bit more about them on our website. And of course, during all of our live posts, which we have, Oh, must be must be, uh, be lunch time. As these boys just got right up, I think I heard the UTV pull up to the building. But yeah, you can read all about them on our website, wildcatsanctuary.org. And you could also donate or sponsor these guys as well. And th that you can also find on our website. I think they're walking away. See some little little, little cheetah feet, feet there. All right, yeah. I think connection got a little spotty right there, so I apologize. Whoop. I think they're heading out. He said it's food time. So well, we guys, probably start the sign off. We appreciate all of you and all your love and care and support. Y'all are awesome, amazing, spectacular, um, spectacular, Fabulous. awesome, even. <laughs> awesome even. But yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and sign off. Uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. Don't Keep forget. Up the good work with the Food and Wellness yes. Center fundraiser. You have, have till tomorrow. Less than, uh, less than, how many hours is that? 24 hours would be this morning. So a little bit, <laughs> a little less, less than 48. So a little less than something. Not very good at math, definitely not my strong suit. But <laughs> either way, the clock is ticking. So get in those gifts as soon as you can because we thoroughly appreciate it and stay tuned for all of our live posts as well as lots of posts today about our food shoots so keep up the good work and thank you for joining us bye guys